Hello Internet, it's Kevin. It's been a while. Uh, finally got the update to uh, version 11.4.4 of Full Self Driving. And uh, we're going to take it out for a quick drive to see how it does uh, at night. And uh, I'm just going to go to a local fast food chain here. Uh, in, the, in the area, it's about a six minute drive, about th almost three miles. Another improvement we've got is the, uh, the new camera uh, views. Um, the cameras obviously are the same hardware, but they have made some changes in software that makes the uh, camera views much better, even at night. They're very clear, the color is much more natural, doesn't have that amber look to it. Uh, so I love it, looks great. Uh, so far so good. Here's a car coming, uh, so we're doing an unprotected left turn here at this intersection. It waited for the car and it made the left turn. Uh, hopefully you can see the steering wheel here is turning on its own. I do have to uh, keep my hands near the wheel and give it a tug every so often to let it know that I'm paying attention. Uh, also, this internal camera up here is watching my eyes, making sure that I can see the road or that I'm looking at the road uh, and not, you know, over here looking at something else like a phone or even the screen uh, for a very long period of time. If you're uh, new to the channel and uh, new to full self driving, this is Tesla's fully automated driving system. It is in beta. It's still testing. Uh, they haven't uh, considered it to be production, although they have released it to the general public. If you want it, you can subscribe to it uh, or you can purchase it outright uh, at the time of purchase of your car. Uh, but you have to agree to an, an on-screen agreement saying that you will keep your hands near the wheel, you keep your eyes on the road, you are fully in control and liable for any accidents, uh, as this is still in beta testing. But it is their uh, attempt at full self-driving. Um, the eventual goal is to be able to have these vehicles uh, be like a robotic version of Uber or Lyft uh, to just go and pick you up. For, so you pull out an app on your phone, you have the, you know, you say, come get me here, take me there. The car will just come without a driver, pick you up and take you there. Um, they are doing this with a couple of uh, <clears throat> companies called Cruise and Waymo in select places around the country. It's a very limited, um, restricted setup. They don't go on the freeway, which can take longer to get your destination. Uh, they're inside of a geofenced area, meaning that they do not go outside that area. Um, <clears throat> they have to go get uh, LIDAR mappings of the entire area. If something changes drastically, they're gonna have to remap that. The approach that Tesla is taking is completely different. Um, their system is based on vision, with cameras like your eyes and uh, a brain, the computer system, just like humans basically. And they want you to be able to put your car in pretty much any scenario, uh, just like a human would anywhere in the country, eventually anywhere in the world that, that has you know roads um, and, um, and be able to handle it just fine, um, seeing it for the first time and, and not having to have HD maps or, or LiDAR maps or anything like that. Um, so that's why it's taking them a little bit longer um, to to uh, get to their final goal because it's a much more difficult uh, complex proposition <laughs> to do it this way uh, than it is to just go out and do an HD or LiDAR map of an area and program every single little scenario. And, and even that's not perfect. You may have seen on, on YouTube or other uh, online video systems with um, Cruz and Waymo where sometimes the car will just get stuck and it'll turn on its blinkers, tell the, the rider to get out of the car and they can call another Uber and, uh, or another uh, Cruz or Waymo and oftentimes they do and another one shows up and it gets stuck behind the first one that's stuck and then the third one shows up and it gets stuck and they might have a pile up of four or five of these cars until somebody from Cruz or Waymo finally comes out <laughs> and manually takes over. So, by the way, I'm not, I'm not doing anything. The, the car is doing the brakes, the acceleration, the wheel, the turn signals, all of it. Um, so you can see here the blue line indicating where it's gonna go. You can see the other vehicles on the road that it is seeing. Um, it is seeing the uh, stoplights, stop signs, uh, left turn signals, um, the speed limit signs, all of that, everything that it needs to to be able to see just like a human in order to drive properly and legally um, <clears throat> on the road. Now this I don't like. I have heard in this version 
that the uh, lane selection portion of, of this version hasn't been as good as it was in the past. And I'm seeing a, an, an example of that right now. Um, my destination is right at a mile ahead of us on the left. And it just took us out of the left-hand lane, put us into the right-hand lane, and it said uh, changing lanes away from merge. Well, there is no merge here, so I don't know what it's talking about. Um, again, this is version 11.4.4. They do have, uh, I think, 11.4.7.3, I think is the latest version out now, but only a handful of beta testers are running that. Um, and of course, Tesla themselves are testing version 12, which is a completely different um, architecture. It is um, from front to back, all neural nets, complete AI, uh, no hard-coded um, instructions, you know, if this, then that, which is what this system still has a lot of. This is around 300,000 lines of code. The neural network, uh, the all neural network version 12 is uh, only 3,000 lines of code. So it's a much less complex setup, but they are training it with uh, video, hours and hours of video. I think they said something like a million or 10 million hours of video. Uh, so essentially they're training it like they would a human. I'm gonna go ahead and get over. I don't know why it's not. So I'm gonna turn the signal on and the car will go ahead and get over into the proper lane. But yeah, they're, they're training this new version 12 with video like you would a human, essentially. You put a human in the seat, they see everything that's happening, they have an instructor saying, do this, do that, uh, to somebody with experience. And so the way they're training this new version 12 is they're showing the system hours and hours of video of all these different scenarios and when it's done correctly, including coming to a complete stop and stop sign. Uh, they had mentioned that uh, they had to really dig through their video to find people stopping properly at a stop sign, coming to a, a full complete stop, because uh, here's another unprotected left turn, and it's going just fine. So there we go. A little jerky there because of this car. I'm going to take over uh, so I can get us out of the street. But uh, anyway, yeah, uh, we're here. We made it to our destination. I think I had to intervene one time with the turn signal and I took over there once we got in the parking lot because parking lots are not quite ready yet. Uh, although it'll do decently well most of the time in a parking lot. Anyway, thanks for watching. Give this a thumbs up, share and uh, subscribe and we'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.